Hey, this is Brian Briscoe, host of the Diary of an Apartment Investor podcast, and this is another multifamily brief episode. Something I want to talk about today is the three things that every new apartment investor needs to be doing or needs to be looking for in order to succeed in this business. All right. And I like to try to simple make things as simple as possible. And that's that's basically what we're we're talking about today is as simple as I can make it. So the three things are, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, there's no drum roll. But the first thing is a team. I think every new apartment investor needs to have a team around them for a lot of reasons. When you call a broker, if you're looking for deals, when you start talking about I, 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 they're immediately going to shut you down because most brokers know it takes a team to put together a deal, to close on a deal, right? So with with that team, you know, ideally you have somebody that compliments you, you know, so if, if you're good at one thing, they're good at another thing because you need a fairly well-rounded group to be able to take down an apartment complex. You need somebody who's analytical, who can analyze the data and be able to tell if you're getting a good deal. And you need somebody with people skills, somebody who's outgoing, somebody who's basically a salesman who can bring investors in, who can negotiate with brokers and whatnot. But there's a lot of different hats, a lot of different skill sets needed and you know, ideally you have a partner and then you have the surrounding third party people that may not be on the general partnership with you, but will help you get everything else done, like your property manager and your real estate attorney, your accountant, you know, and there's a couple more, your insurance broker, your mortgage broker. Okay, all of those people, you know, need to be part of that team in order for you to succeed in this business. All right. The second thing is you always need to be looking for deals. But wait a sec, you know, the team is required to start looking for deals, right? Uh, well, yes and no. You know, I, I don't think these things are sequential. And if you try to do them sequentially, you might have a problem. I think it's like you're pushing three balls forward at the same time. I hate to say it, but I think that's probably the best way to do it. But you have to be, you have to have deals. You have to be looking for deals. While you're building your team and while you're looking to build your team, also be looking for deals, you know, calling brokers, analyzing things, getting to know your target market as best as possible. And oh, by the way, if you don't have a target market, if you're one of those, I get this several times a week on Zoom calls with people. Yeah, I'm looking in Texas and Florida and Oklahoma and West Virginia and Montana. And okay, that is not a target market. That's somebody who is all over the map. You don't want to be all over the map. Okay, you want to focus on a target area. So when you're looking for deals, focus on a target area so you can get to know that area extremely well. And when we talk about building a team, your team is a lot of times very specific to your target area. So in order for you to look for deals, okay, narrow it down to target area, but you have to always be looking for deals. Okay. Third thing, capital, money. All right. If you have the deals, you have the capital, you have the team, everything comes together and works. So you always have to be looking for capital. Now, once again, like I said, this is this is not do one than the other because it's all three of these things really do depend on each other. All right. It's really, really hard to find a deal if you don't have the capital. And it's really hard to find capital if you don't have a deal. All right. So what I would suggest is to be pushing, like, like I said, pushing all three balls forward at the same time. And when you're looking for the team, when you find certain teammates, you know, maybe one person focuses more on capital raising, one person focuses more on, on deal finding, but you really have to be able to get all three assembled before you're going to get a lot of traction. OK, you have to have deal flow. You have to have, you know, a bunch of potential passive investors along with you, people who can bring money and you have to have that team to help you to close. And with all three game on, you're you're going to be rip roaring and ready to go. And incidentally, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm shifting my focus to Salt Lake City. I'll be making a big announcement in a couple of weeks about, you know, a, a new hire. And I am super excited for that. Building my team in Salt Lake City, I'm looking for a, a Salt Lake City attorney. That's where I want to start investing. So uh, I think I found the right guy. And 
the reason I'm looking for a, a local attorney in this case is to help me build out my team in Salt Lake, somebody who's active in the real estate market, you know, and he's already referred me to a couple of really, really good people. But yeah, next thing on the list, you know, a bunch of brokers in Salt Lake City, get to know them. All right. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now, building out my team, trying to make this, this Salt Lake City thing happen. And always, always, always working on my ability to, to raise capital. And at the same time, we got my deal flow going. All right. And that's that's what the new hire is going to be. He's going to be my acquisitions director. And like I said, super excited. Very, very sharp guy. Very happy. He's, he's going to be coming on the team. But, you know, suspense a little later. I'll make a make an announcement on who that is probably in two weeks time. So anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, definitely check out some of the other episodes that we have. We got a lot of really, really good stuff, more good stuff coming out. I'm excited about the uh, episodes that we're recording in the next couple of weeks and the episodes that we've already recorded it and haven't released yet. So that said, have a great rest of the week. We'll see you on Friday for the next Ask the Expert episode. Hey, if you like that episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But more importantly, if you haven't joined our multifamily educational community, the Tribe of Titans yet, you are missing out. So get yourself 30 days free by clicking the link below in the description or go to thetribeoftitans.info and we'll see you there.